Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for being here. And, you know, Roy Williams has had a bunch of terrific players during his nearly 20 years now as the head coach of Carolina basketball. But, man, right up there at the top as far as the ones that fans really have enjoyed, got to have Marcus Page, the Tar Heel point guard, had such a terrific career for Carolina. Marcus is actually playing over in Europe now. Adam Lucas and I had a chance to talk to him about playing overseas, about his time at Carolina, and more. As always, I know you'll enjoy this with Marcus Page. One of the all-time Roy Williams team members, Marcus Page, here with us. Marcus, tell us where in the world you are. We're talking to you after a big victory and catch us up on how things have been going. Yeah, so I'm in Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, this is my third season with Partizan. Um, played a couple years in the G League, and now, yeah, this is my third year. And, uh, yeah, we just won a big Euro, Euro uh, Europe game. We played two competitions, one regionally and then one all across Europe. Um, we're actually in the same group as Luke May, so I got to see him a little bit ago. But we won a big game and just been living the dream, Got getting to see the world. Uh, and playing basketball at a high level. So I'm definitely uh, enjoying everything. Yeah, Marcus, I was going to ask you, what, what's it been like? I mean, has, is it what you thought it would be to, to be a professional basketball player in all the different places you've been? Yeah, I mean, when I played at Carolina, we went to the um, Bahamas, and we didn't ever take, like, a big trip to Europe or anything. So this was really my first exp experience, like, out in the world, outside of the state. Um, so I've really enjoyed it. Um, now that it's my third year in the same place, I've definitely gotten more comfortable here and gotten to see a bunch of cool cities and everything and met a lot of cool people that I never would have been able to if had I not decided to do this. Um, it was a little interesting, like my first year, getting used to being so far away from home and everything. But uh, I would recommend it to anybody who really wants to play at a high level, um, you know, and maybe on the fence or on the fringe of being an NBA player because um, this experience has been great. I've, I've ran into a bunch of guys, Dion, uh, Marcus Aguinard, Justin Knox. Like, you can run through the line of everybody, and I've crossed paths with them and everything, so it's been fun. Marcus Guignard, as we know, Jones, the mayor of Limoges, France, yeah. according yeah. to him and his magazines. <laughs> um, Marcus, one of the challenges people always tell us when they're overseas is figuring out how their time relates to Tar Heel time and watching the Tar Heels. What are some of the things you've had to do to, to keep up with the heels? Yeah, I mean, a lot of times I just stay up. Like, uh, <laughs> I've missed the last few games uh, of ACC play, but, like, earlier in the season I caught basically every single game. You know, I saw, you know, the Texas game. I saw some of the – the bumps along the road and I've seen that they started to play better um, recently, but um, even the last few seasons um, I didn't necessarily play with any of these guys, but I still feel like I need to stay up and watch and, and follow along. And we got some group chats like me, Luke, uh, Kenny, Justin, Theo, like we got some different group chats where we talk about what's going on in the games and, you know, the different guys and players and everything. So um, even though I never played with any of them, like I still catch myself up at 2, 3 a.m. watching a game and um, rooting for these guys because for whatever reason, it's just I feel like I have to, and I really enjoy watching the young guys play. Somehow it was five years ago that Marcus Page was a senior at Carolina. That's hard to believe. Marcus, now that you've had some time away, do you look at your time in Chapel Hill or at Carolina any differently, or does it mean something different to you now than maybe right when you got out? I think, you know, you, as you play professional ball, you run into a lot of guys you knew in high school or guys that you competed against it in any sort of level. Um, you start to realize even more so how different the Carolina connection is. You know, in my year, when I was on a two-way with Charlotte, anytime I ran into somebody who played at Carolina, um, whether they were, like, you know, older or someone that I was a teammate with, that connection is different. And people notice it, and people will tell you about it. They'd be like, man, you guys really like are about that family life, and it's like, yeah, like who we are. This is this is who we are. None of it is a facade or anything. And uh, it's just funny to see people from other programs that are very prestigious be so impressed by that uh, because we 
you know, when you're in it, when you're in school, you kind of take it a little bit for granted. You just assume, you know, it's the only experience, you know, so you just assume maybe other schools are like that. And then you realize that not everybody got the, the, the Carolina family experience that you got and people really, people really wish that they had. And, um, I know I feel that way every time I run into another player. Um, like I said, I saw Luke a few few weeks ago. Luke came to Belgrade. Um, he had a tough game. I went and saw him after the ho- uh, went to this hotel after the game. We stayed up and talked till you know three four a.m. just catching up on everything. Um, and he's had a couple of great games since. But like just seeing each other and getting to catch up and everything um, really made both of our our weeks. So just little stuff like that um, makes me more appreciative of it. Um, as you get older, you get a little bit better perspective on, on your time in school. And I think, uh, now that I'm old, man, like you said, five (laughs) years removed, I can see these young guys and, you know, try to remember back to how crazy my mind was going in all these different directions in school and, uh, just watching them develop and and knowing that, you know, knowing they're going to be all right in the end because, um, of the guys that they, they get to be around every day. Our staff is so great about, developing people into good men.